Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome to episode 14 of season 2 of our Braga career mode here on FIFA 19. In today's episode, we are at home to Gimarois, and then we have Morarense in the quarterfinal of the Tassa Portuguesa. And like I said, I've done a lot of recording in a short space of time because I did have time off of work, and I've just seen two comments about signing a couple of players, Chong and Harvey Barnes, and I've seen them just in time because as you guys can see, we are in the January transfer window. So Harvey Barnes and Chong are both being scouted and they have 18 days left. So at the end of the next episode, because of course we want to know their value and wage because we don't want negotiations to come crumbling down for both of those players. I'm going to try and sign them both as well. We're going to get rid of two wingers and bring in two wingers. And like I said, we are going to try and make kind of a special signing. We have him on our transfer hub. So as soon as I go onto it, you guys are going to see who I'm talking about. Wayne Rooney from DC United. He's 34 years old, 78 overall. He's got pretty decent attributes still. Good reactions, good jumping, good balance. Decent on the ball, of course. Good finishing. Free kick accuracy, 82. Long pass, 81. Short pass, 78. Curve, 84. Volleys, 81. Shot power, 83. He's still a pretty good player. Of course, his attributes have been dropping over the course of the past season and a half. But, like I said, still a pretty good player. There we go. Chung and Barnes are both being scouted because, of course, we want to know everything, like I said, before we get into negotiations. So... Wayne Rooney, he's valued at £6 million. His weekly wage is 9900 It says we might have to offer between 4.8 and 6.9. So we're going to approach the buyer and I'm just going to offer them £6 million. Imagine Wayne Rooney coming to Braga. In my Man United career mode, I signed Cristiano Ronaldo. I took him back to Manchester. And now I'm going to sign Wayne Rooney. Well, hopefully... I'm going to sign Wayne Rooney for the last half of the last season with Braga. That would be absolutely epic. So we're going to offer transfer fee. And we're going to go for his value. Will they accept it? I think that's a fair offer for Rooney. We are happy with the terms. Wow. So let's negotiate a contract with Wayne Rooney. So Wayne Rooney wants a squad role of important first team player. I 100% accepted that. I think in this new formation, 3-5-2, he will be perfect for that number 10 role. Contract length of two years, of course. We're only doing half a season anyway with Braga. Release clause, disregard. And he wants a wage of 16,500, a signing bonus of 105k and 15 goals for 450. Except, listen to this guys, Wayne Rooney is officially a Braga player. What a signing. So like I said just a minute ago, we're going to sign two wingers and bring in two wingers. And one wide player that we have put up for sale is Fabio Martins. And he's officially left the club to West Ham for £12.6 million. And the board has allocated £10 million to our current transfer budget. So that is pretty tasty. Murillo has left... Not left the club. We put him up for sale. That's the other wide player we've put up for sale. Sorry. So we're just waiting for an offer for him. And as you guys can see, we have a message from the board about right back Vigras. Because of this new formation we are currently playing, 3-5-2, he doesn't fit in. And he's not been getting any game time whatsoever. And he has come to me quite a lot saying he's unhappy. He wants to leave in the next transfer window. So after getting this message from the board, I have put Vigras up for sale so the two players we're looking to sell at the moment are Murillo and Vigras and of course as you can see on the right hand side Rooney to make Braga debut of course of course he's going to make his Braga debut at home to Gimarois where are they they are in eighth place five wins seven draws four losses scoring 22 goals but conceding 17 so they're going to be a bit dodgy at the back but they're going to be a threat going forward but we are in second place. We've lost one game in 16, which is absolutely 
brilliant. So let's kick off today's episode by picking up three points at home to Gimaroyce. Jose on this right hand side plays it straight to Pablo Santos and that's a decent pass forward to Horta who does well to keep possession Bruno Viana into Loom now Palinia Loom once again forward to Canate Lucas Alario left hand side okay it's gone back into Canate I aimed nowhere near Canate I was aiming the analog stick upwards to go out to Horta on that left hand side but we do keep possession Loom Forward to Kinate. We find him. Kinate! Brilliant save. That time I was aiming for Kinate and it was a very good turn. And what a save from the goalkeeper. Wow. 18 minutes gone. We get another corner. Singh whips in. It's not a good delivery. And it does get cleared away. Only as far as Bruno Viana. Going to whip and across. And it's a dreadful one. And goes straight out for a goal kick. Loom on the ball into Kinate. To his right hand side is Singh, who doesn't keep the ball in. Oh, so frustrating, but he does win it back. Kinate back into Singh. Oh, we're going to open the scoring. Singh for 1 0. Brilliant finish. Absolutely brilliant finish. And it all came from basically a mistake from the throw in. 24 minutes gone. Braga 1, Gimaroyce 0. Let's see a replay. It all started from that throw-in. Oh, they're not going to show it from the throw-in. Throw-in, brilliant interception from the goal scorer. He starts to move, basically, and he ends it. Absolutely fantastic play from Singh. Francisco on the ball for Tigueres. This is a decent spell for the away team. But thankfully, a pass forward once again. Finds a red and white shirt. New vice for Tucanate. Right-hand side is Singh. And it's a decent pass. Back into Kinate. It's a very good pass once again. Back into Singh. Doesn't work out. But it is going to fall to Palinia. Now Horta with the cross into Nuvais. Absolutely lethal finish from the midfield man. 38 minutes gone. And we have doubled our lead. Fantastic delivery to the back post. And what a finish this is. Lehner on the ball into Toze on this right-hand side. And again, they have given me possession. Nuvais, Palinha into Loom. Kinate, right-hand side is seeing what a pass that is. We've got four players charging into the box. A cross goes into Kinate and it's just behind him. But it is going to fall to Palinha. Horta, Palinha into Kinate. Now Nuvais. That's a very good pass. Keeper's coming and he collects. 43 minutes gone. Since opening the scoring, we have been so dominant. Nuvais on the ball, into Singh. Now Kinate up to Loom. Oh, it's nearly a great pass, but it's a very good interception. That could have easily been, if that got through, 3-0. And we are going to intercept Horta, Loom, Lucas Olario. Now Kinate, can we open, open the scoring? Can we score the third goal here with Kinate? Good save from the goalkeeper. And that is going to officially... Wrap up the first half. Like I just said, we have been so dominant since opening the scoring. So hopefully, more of the same in the second half. Nuvice with the tackle. Winning possession back for us early on in this second 45 minutes. Lucas Alario back into Nuvice. Fantastic play. Look at Palinha all on his own for 3-0. And again, a brilliant save. What a start to the second half that could have been. No one picking up Palinha. And unfortunately, it was just too close to the Gimaroyce captain. Corner kick incoming from Singh. It's a good delivery. The captain for us gets his head on it. But unfortunately, the captain for them stops it going in for 3-0. Francisco charging down his left-hand side. He plays it back to Soares. Now Andre, a long ball forward. And Davidson actually wins it. Okay, Gerdes. Into Francisco, a lovely 1-2 up against Bruno Viana. It's luckily going to fall, thankfully, to Horta. Wow. That was dangerous. 59 minutes gone. Corner kick incoming for the away side. It's a decent delivery. And thankfully, Horta, who conceded the corner, gets it away. Palinia on the ball. 
Very good pass into Singh. Now Kinate. Oh, it's a good tackle. It's a very good tackle forward to Davis. And now Guedes with the long range strike. What a save from the goalkeeper. Wow. That came out of nowhere. I wasn't even expecting him to shoot first time, but he did. What a strike. But look at this save. Oh, that has got to be one of the best saves I've ever seen on FIFA. Absolutely fantastic from that man right there. Corner kick incoming. As you can see, top left saves. Their goalkeeper's made six. Sa has made one, and he makes another one. I believe. I'm not 100% sure if it was the defender or another fantastic save. Let's take a look. It hits the captain. Is it a save? No, it's hit. It's hit the defender on the line. Wow. They are putting us under some real pressure over the last five minutes or so. Corner kick incoming. Palinia does get it away. Only as far as a Gimoros man. Brilliant turn from the defender. Now Andre into the box. Brilliant play. Andre keeper, please catch that. Please catch it. He's done brilliantly well to catch the ball. And finally break up that attack Nuvas on the ball into Loom right hand side is Singh what a pass from Loom Singh into the top corner for 3-0 and 3 points 68 minutes gone what an assist from Loom and it's a fantastic finish look at this first time pass and a first time finish I believe yes absolutely brilliant goal Guedes on the ball for Gimaroy, surrounded by red and white shirts, and he eventually loses possession, and I've lost possession. Guedes into Teixeira, back into Guedes. Francisco soars. Francisco once again, back into soars. This is good play from Gimaroy. So crossing to the back post, and Horta does well. And are we going to keep possession? Nope. Decent header into Teixeira. Now to Tozzi on this right-hand side. Lena. It's a good play from Gimaroy. It's their best spell of the game. But thankfully, we break up that attack once again. Cunate, decent turn onto his right foot. And here he goes. The big man. Oh, referee. The big man charging towards their defence. And they just hack him down. And surely that's got to be a yellow card. Or maybe even more. That was a dirty tackle. What's it going to be? Yellow or red? It's going to be a yellow. Okay, 15 minutes left to play. And that is the first yellow card of the game. And we get a free kick. Nah, it's not in shooting distance, is it really? So I'm going to play it short. Into the captain. Okay, it's gone into Sing. Oh, fantastic player to leave. Two Gimaroy's players in their tracks. A brilliant delivery in. And what a finish from Cunate. 78 minutes gone. And we are 4-0 up. Brilliant play from Sing on that right-hand side. And it's a lovely finish into the bottom corner from Cunate. So there is the end of the game and what a result this is. Some brilliant goals scored as well and it was definitely one of our best performances of the season so far. Up next we have CD Forense. So after this fantastic win, let's do it all over again and pick up another three points. So I just completely messed that up. We don't have CD Forense next, do we? We're at home at Tumorense in the Tassa Portuguesa quarterfinal. How could I bloody mess that up? But now I'm putting this little clip in. I can say it now instead of at the end of the episode. We only have one player on our shortlist. Chong, the youngster from Manchester United. Harvey Barnes was also suggested in the comments, but... He's only just joined Viriontina. I've only just realised he's just joined that club. So we can't sign him. So we're going to keep Murillo. We're going to take him off the transfer list. Keep him and just bring in Chong. So Chong will probably and hopefully be our last signing here at Braga. And it'll be a pretty decent one. I had just done a Manchester United career mode. And Chong actually performed pretty well. Especially towards the end of that career mode. So... Last season, we did make it to the quarterfinals of the Tassa Portuguesa. So let's get into this game at home to Morarense and see if we can go one step further.
So here we go, the quarterfinal of the Tassa Portuguesa against Morarense. And as you can see, Wayne Rooney with his first touch in a Braga shirt. The last game against Guimarães. I was enjoying it so much. You know those games you get when you thrash the other team. You're playing some great football. You're enjoying playing it so much. You just forget to make subs. And that is exactly what happened. Wayne Rooney with fantastic play. Wayne Rooney! Brilliant save from the goalkeeper. Seven and a half minutes gone. And Wayne Rooney almost scores. It was fantastic play. But straight at the goalkeeper for a simple save. Corner kick incoming. Marilo whips it in. It's a good delivery keeper with a very, very good punch. But eight minutes gone and it's been a brilliant start to the game from us. Rosic on the ball. Forward to Trinko. Now Ricardo Ryla into Wayne Rooney. Short into Fran Sergio. This is good play. Wayne Rooney once again to his left-hand side is Ricardo Ryla. Now Wilson Eduardo. This is very good play. Trinko with the cross. It's a little bit over hit. And Rodriguez does well. Is it going to be a corner? No, it's not. Hits the corner flag and goes out for a throw in. But we are in a very dangerous position. Cunate and Wilson Eduardo come running over to Murillo for the throw in. Absolutely ridiculous. Ricardo Ryla into Wayne Rooney. It's a decent turn, but we're going to lose possession. And the Morense man does the smart thing and hoofs the ball away. Throw in once again. Kinate, look at the space here for Ricardo Ryla. Hits NATO. Kinate. Ricardo Ryla once again with the long range strike. And this time it finds the back of the net. What a beauty. 27 minutes gone. Braga 1. Morense nil. Thanks to a beauty from that man right there. Hits the post as well. To makes it to makes it look even better. To make it look even better. I can't even talk. 27 minutes gone. And we are 1-0 up. Arsenio on this right hand side. Oh, somehow he's kept the ball. Over that from the right back. And it's a dangerous ball into the box. But thankfully, the goalkeeper comes out and gathers it up. Alright, into Murillo on this right hand side. Going to try and go on a run with the winger. Kinate back into Murillo on this right hand side. Fantastic play from the winger. And he's still going across into Wilson Eduardo. Brilliant save at his near post. 32 minutes gone. And we get another corner. Was it sneaking in for 2 0? It was a brilliant strike. Yes, it was. Wow, what a save. Wow. 32 minutes gone. Once again, Murillo is whipping it in. It's going straight to Kinate. Oh, it's gone wide. I thought that was going in for 2-0. I thought it went in for 2-0. Oh, my God. That was so close to being Braga 2. Morarense nil, but it's a goal kick. Nato on the ball for Morarense. Four to Arsenio on this right-hand side. I was just about to say it's a very good turn, but he turns straight out of play. Right, Wayne Rooney, Cunate out to Murillo on that right-hand side, and it's a very good pass. Great first touch as well. Brilliant play from Murillo. Look at the space here for Ricardo Ryla. Just wide. 43 and a half minutes gone. That was really close to doubling our lead. Another brilliant strike. Oh, it's gone over, not wide, sorry. Just over the crossbar. Another brilliant strike from Ricardo Ryla. He has had a very good season so far. Hopefully more to come from him for the remainder of the season. Arsenio charging down this right-hand side across into the edge of the box. And Wayne Rooney doing his defensive duties absolutely brilliantly. For to Chiquinho. Past the post, thankfully, but it's a goal kick. A corner, sorry. Thanks to a block. Was it a save or was it a block? Yeah, it was a block. It was going to the opposite side of the goal. Brilliant block from the captain. Seconds left to play in this first half. With their first real attack, are they going to grab an equalising goal? Keeper punches. Only as far as NATO. Back into NATO. First time strike. And thankfully it's gone way over the crossbar. And that is going to wrap up the first 45 minutes. We are going to be taking a 1-0 lead into the break. Thanks to an absolute beauty from Ricardo Ryla. Morense moving forward down this right hand side. Very good start from the away team and that is a very good cross and Murillo with a very good defensive header. A brilliant start to the second half. They get the first corner of the second 45 minutes. Chiquinho whips it in and what a header that is from Trinco to get the ball half away but the attack 
is still alive into Rodriguez and thankfully he's offside but 50 minutes gone a very good opening five minutes to this second half from Morarense. Marila won the ball into Ricardo Ryla now Wilson Eduardo can we find Rooney it's a very good pass he is on side and somehow they have come away with the ball and they've got it away for a throw in Cunate with it for some reason Trinko Ricardo Ryla up to Fran Sergio first time strike what a strike as well but I think it was straight down the middle for a more simple save for the goalkeeper absolutely lashed it towards goal very good save still from the goalkeeper corner kick incoming 55 minutes gone can we double our lead not with heading like that from Bruno Viana as well he should be at least hitting the target 62 minutes gone we're going to make a sub Pedro Nato on for Murillo on that right hand side it's been a frustrating second half overall I would say Morarense have been the better team they haven't created a ton of chances but they have been the better team so hopefully this change and maybe another change in a moment or another two changes in a moment will change this game for us Wilson Eduardo into Fran Sergio now Wayne Rooney oh it's a terrible pass there you go that just sums up my second half so far absolutely shocking Nato on this right hand side decent pass into Ricardo Ryla now Wayne Rooney Ricardo Ryla just behind him is Fran Sergio now Wayne Rooney with the long range strike is it going to fall to Wilson Eduardo nope of course it's not 69 minutes gone and I think I'm going to make my last two subs in a moment Trinko with the throw in into Ricardo Ryla it's a very good throw as well into Canate just behind him is Fran Sergio over the crossbar oh 20 minutes left to play and we're going to make our last two subs right we've got Paulinho on the bench so I think we're going to bring him on for Cunate and on that left hand side we are going to take Trinko off for Jardas hopefully these last two subs can change the game for us in these last 20 minutes get us that second goal and bury this game and get us through to the semi-finals of the Tassa Portuguesa Wilson Eduardo picks up the loose ball into Paulinho. Oh, fantastic play. Paulinho is still going. A fierce strike towards goal, but it was straight at the goalkeeper for an easier save. Jardas with the throw in into Ricardo Ryla. Now Fran Sergio into Wayne Rooney. Fantastic play from Rooney. It falls luckily to Fran Sergio. Nato. Fran Sergio once again low, not very hard. And comfortably past the post but the last five to ten minutes or so we have really stepped up our game and it's been our best spell of the second half Fran Sergio on the ball decent pass out to Nato now Wayne Rooney who's gonna move into a bit of space Wilson Eduardo back into Wayne Rooney out to that right hand side and it's a terrible pass and are we gonna nick it away from the Morense man nope he's kept the ball and thankfully they've played it straight to Fran Sergio Wayne Rooney Decent pass forward to Ricardo Ryla. Brilliant turn. Going to play it back into Wayne Rooney. First time strike from Rooney and it hits his own teammate, Wilson Eduardo. Back into Wayne Rooney. And it is going to fall to Fran Sergio. Now it's going to fall to Wayne Rooney. Oh, it's gone just past the post. I thought that was going to be a perfect debut right into the top corner. But unfortunately, it's gone wide and out for a goal kick. 88 minutes gone. And I really hope we can hold on to this lead and get through to the semi-finals of the Tassa Portuguesa. A pretty solid 1-0 victory here at home to Morarense. We were the much better team in the first half, but they did come out flying in the second half for about 10 minutes or so. But then we took back control of the game and could have easily added more goals. But the most important thing is we are into the semi-finals of the Tassa Portuguesa. So after another perfect episode, we are one point ahead of Sporting at the top of the table. 12 wins, 4 draws and only 1 loss. Scoring 35 goals, conceding just 11. And look at the gap from us to Benfica. 8 points after 17 games. We are having an outstanding season so far. So top of the table and into the semi-finals of the Tassa Portuguesa. So in the next episode, we have two Liga News games at home to CD Forense and then at home to Morarense. So that is going to wrap up today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. 
Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.